From Roman to Elizabethan to Jacobean to neoclassical to Victorian and beyond. This bath exemplifies a London whose meanings are constructed through chronological layers of the material and the imagined. Does the echoey stuff come over in the recording okay? Because that's one of the first things I liked about this place. I thought this is such a lovely space and it's not at all what you expect. Um, and you first come in and you can see that when people visit it, they kind of go, oh, a Roman bath, what's this, you know? But the more you get the feel of it, the more you just like it. I decided that what I was happiest doing was responding to particular sites that were historically and culturally and socially interesting. And that's one of the reasons why I was really pleased to get the chance to work with the bath, in the bath, about the bath. <laughs> Out of the blue appeal was somebody saying, I'd love to compose and sing a song in the Roman bath. It's a wonderful idea, singing in the bath. Because actually misinterpretation is so much part of the story of this place. It's not a Roman bath, but people have passionately wanted to believe it was, and they've spun all kinds of confirmatory fantasies around that. Uh, so fantasy, wishful thinking, the will to believe, uh, strange connections are themselves part of the history of the bath, and it's precisely that that you were focusing on and pulling out. And I think I, I've particularly valued um, the, the, the kind of freedom of imagination that you've brought to it, that precisely by cutting loose from academic propriety in a funny kind of way, you're actually being more faithful to the history of this place, because the history of the place is so much to do with wishful thinking and fantasy. That's a nice way of putting it. We did do this little um, installation display thing in one of the cabinets where we did intentionally mix up um, fact and fiction about the bath using some genuine archival stuff and some totally fabricated things. It's, it's, a, it's a bit of everything. It's, it's genuine advertising material from the 19th century uh, and perfectly straight-faced uh, 20th century sort of children's magazine material about bars. You know the way it works in museum displays? You just automatically think, oh, this must be right because it's here in a glass case. The authority of the label. Yeah, you know, you just accept it. In fact, the only genuine thing in here is the brick, which is a real brick from the Roman bath. We were having fun, we were playing around, but the, there's, a, there's a serious kernel because false claims and fantasies uh, and confident myths about the bath are so much part of, of what it has been. You know, as Mike was saying, there's lots of episodes in the history of the bath where, you know, people have really tried to prove totally improbable things <laughs> and published books and all the rest of it, yeah. Um, it's just to give people a chance to sit and reflect on the bath and sit quietly and listen, get the feel of the place. All this could be termed virtual reality. But what is really real is that you're sitting here in the space, which is virtually a Roman bath, with an indexical image and recorded sound. Oh, I love working with headphones. The sound goes right straight into your head and you're in a little world of your own with the sound and you make the pictures yourself. What I suppose I'm trying to do and get other people to do is to allow the bath to speak to us in the here and now, not just about its history, but how people experience it now as it is.
I think another thing that I appreciate particularly was the, the range of different media that, that you were using. I just tried as many experimental things as I could. I mean, I like the way that a place like this and a residency like this allows you to go off and just explore, you know, go off at a tangent and it's never really going to be wrong. You've, in a whole series of different ways, you have brought the senses back, enlivened the space in that way. Uh, because uh, you know, the, the, there was the video, there was the audio, uh, but there was also simply the, the exercise of getting people in here and getting them to, to experience the curious, rather damp, musty atmosphere. But that itself is, is part of what the bath is and what it has been. The bath is great. I forgot how much I liked it till I came back today.